Jesus, Jesus. All the way, all the way, all the way. No turning back. No turning back.
tonight will come from Romans, the fifth chapter. Right. And I'm going to read the first through the eighth verse. And it reads, Therefore, being justified by faith, mm -hmm. we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Right. By whom also we have access by faith into the grace where we stand. Uh -huh. and, re and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Yes, sir. And not only so, but we glory in the tribulation also. Yes, sir. Knowing that tribulation works in patience. Yes, sir. And patience experience and experience hope. And hope make it not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our heart by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. For when we were yet without strength, mm -hmm. in due time Christ died for the ungodly. Amen. For scarcely for a righteous man one would die. Yet pre-adventure for a good man some would even dirty die. Right. But God commanded his love toward us. And that while we were yet sinners, mm -hmm. Christ died for us. Amen. May the Lord have a blessing to the real and real and doers of his holy word. Amen. Amen. Guide me over that great Jehovah, pilgrim through this barren land. Guide me. Father, you know that name, Father, so I call him, Father. Just tell him where that be, Father. 
Jesus. You say your word, Father. I never put too much on you, Father. Lord, I can come direct now, Father. Let me be, Father. Right Just now. put your arm around, Father. Let me be there, Father. Yes. You say your word. I never leave a safety, Father. I'll be to the end, Father. Yes. Now that the word, pick the word right now, Father. Right Let the man bring the word at night, Father. Yes. Crown him and not it, Father. Yes. Give him the wisdom and not understand. Lead your people in the right way, Father. Yes. Hope that heart and mind took that word, Father. Yes. Realize you say your word. Don't they say it, Father. Back to your son, Jesus Christ, down on the cross. Your whole spirit got to leave you, Father. The Father take your grace to make the gift for one more day, Father. Yes, then, Father, you woke up this morning on your own sister's hand, Father. Yes, we said thank you, Father. Yes. We food my table, clothes on bed, Father. Yes. Now, family doing good, Father. We yes. realize like you'll be sleeping out grave, Father. Yes. But you get one more time, said thank you, Father. Yes. And Father, we said thank you right now for everything you did, Father. Yes. Keep up one more day, Father. Let those that sit in the heart for coming at home, Father. Let those how many by way, Father. Now we can buy, Father. Let the buy going all throughout the week, Father. Lord, I can touch you right now, Father. Let them give you up, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank God. Amen. This brain got short devotion to you. Hope somebody got something out of the scripture, the song, the little prayer. Back in the hands of the choir.
welcome each and every one of you on the first night of our spring revival. I welcome you to Galilee Missionary Baptist Church. Uh, words from the pastor would be, you are welcome. Words from the first lady, you are welcome. And words from all the members here at Galilee, you are welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, all right.
Let's all say amen. Oh, yeah. Let's all say hallelujah. Oh, yeah. We slept last night. Yeah. Unconscious and unaware of our existence. Oh, but God allowed that angel to stand by our bedside oh, and watch over us all. See a brand new day. Some of you forgot to say thank you. I want you to stand right now and tell God thank you. Come on now, give God some praise. Give him some praise. Is he worthy? Is God worthy? He's worthy of the highest praise. Amen. I just wanted to see if I was a Galilee. I'm a Galilee, all right. <laughs> I was here yesterday and I enjoyed the service. Amen. Wonderful. And I just want you to know, Galilee, that I love you. Amen. And I want you to pray for me. I'm looking for a church home. Right. And I want you to pray for me that wherever God leads me, right. that's where I'm going to be. Right. I've had some good days. I've had some healing. I've had some weary days, right, and I've had some sleepless nights. But when I look around, Thank <laughs> you. 
Amen. 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 How many know we are ready to miss some good time? Amen. 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 So we thank God tonight. We're going to go ahead and move forward, expedite. Uh, we have here uh, my friend. Uh, I don't even know how we became friends, but <laughs> he's my friend. <laughs> Amen, and, and he's allowed me to come preach for him over in the Bay Springs community. Uh, Pastor Crowder. Pastor Crowder, wave your hand. Amen. 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 Right, That's no. Pastor Crowder right there. Amen. So but he's my friend, you know. I could have ever let one of his associates introduce him, but I say he's my friend, so I'm going to do the introduction tonight. Amen. I don't know if his wife is here. Is she here tonight? Oh, she on the honey. I didn't see. My bad, my bad. You want to you wanna come do the talk? And I can let you do the talk. <laughs> <laughs> That's my friend, too, now. Uh, she played the piano now. All see, right. see, see how much I know about the family. <laughs> he drive a log truck. See, I know everything. <laughs> Don't ask me nothing there. <laughs> but that's my friend, Pastor Crosby. And um, I believe that, you know, there was a, a story in the Bible where um, Jesus had came through and he did something for a young man. And after he did it, did what he done, um, the truth be told, the young man was blind. And Jesus healed him. And what happened was some people doubted the young man's story and so they went and asked his parents was he really blind was he really you know and then what the parents told him the parents said wait a minute he's old enough to speak for himself and that's how i feel about pastor Christ, but he's old enough to speak for himself and so i don't know if his choir is here tonight or if he got some somebody in the audience he want to sing or maybe he want to do it himself y'all but I tell you, uh, we're going to ask uh, our Galilee to march down, and uh, march down, and, and as Galilee is marching, I ain't say walk, I say march, give some marching music, did it, eh? Y'all got to march like it's your anniversary, let me see you. You remember they do the little two-step. First they're going to lead y'all out, come on, brother, brother. <laughs> Galilee going to march down, and as they coming down, we're going to... Say Pastor, Pastor Crosby, preach the word. Say Pastor Crosby, preach the word. And I say Pastor Crosby, leave here empty. Y'all hear what I said? I say, say Pastor Crosby, leave here empty so that we may leave here full. You and Pastor Crosby hand, amen. Come down here 
Stand up right now. I hold your hand up. Amen. Get this out of the way. Amen. Amen. And it's sad when you got two adopted daughters and they sit down on me. Y'all get up. God is good. And we thank God, amen, that we are here and, 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 and to this great pastor, my associate minister, that I told him just a little while ago, I, I, I know God is blessing me. But preachers ought to know what I say. Pastor, I understand it. If you don't understand it, that I feel like now that if I got sick or something that and couldn't make it to the news line, that I got two ministers that I ain't got to worry about cutting my throat while I'm done. Y'all may not like old Crawford, but I just got to tell it like it is. Amen. Amen. Everybody that walk up in God's house right. uh -huh. ain't for real. Amen. 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 And before we go to the scripture, I want you to look at somebody and tell them this right here. Tell them to neighbor, neighbor. God, God don't want, don't want. Religious, nuts. religious nuts. He wants spiritual fruit. I give God a hand clap of praise. See, I, I'm finding out over and over about the, how people can be very religious. All right. But religion don't make you right. Amen. Let's get on to it. Amen. He he not staring me a little bit, singing them old hymns, and I'm gonna try to do what I'm supposed to do. But God is so good. Let us look over in the fifty first number of Psalms. Work with it now. Work with it. And we're gonna look at verse. We're gonna start with verse ten because there is a word for us tonight. Amen. Fifty first number of Psalms, five one. Amen. That there, there's a word there that, and, uh, and by the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We get it. So amen. amen. Very familiar passage. The word of God says, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Verse 12 says, Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, All right. and uphold me with thy free spirit. All right. Look at your neighbor and say, Neighbor, neighbor. Confess, up confess up and let God clean you up. Confess up and let God clean you up. All right now. All right, very good. We have to understand, I, I know we're living in an age of technology. Go ahead. You can't Google how to clean yourself up. Right. Come on now, preacher. Amen. And I don't care. I love daily. I don't care how much you talk to a pastor. Pastor can't clean you up. But if you would confess up to God, he can clean you up. Now, we know this story about David and, and, and we know that David over in 2 Samuel 11 and 12 chapter had done some dealing all because he looked and he saw some, in other words, woman, and 
it attracted him. Come on now. And I know somebody is saying, why was she down there bathing where he could see her? Come on. Well, before you get on the sea, why do you try to cause distractions in the church? Oh, amen. Maybe my first and last, but I got to tell you, look at this. We, we can always say, why was that woman down there naked, bathing out in the opening so somebody could see her? Well, you come in church and, and the Holy Spirit is trying to move and you come in with a conversation. Y'all don't hear me. But however, we know the story how David, he looked and he just couldn't uh, help himself. Yes. I forgot y'all. Galilee, maybe some holy folks here. Uh, uh. <laughs> These may be folks that nothing bothered them. But, but if you got two eyes, it's something will get your attention. Y'all sitting up here and say, well, well, preacher, I, mothers, I don't mean no harm, and, and, and daddies, I don't mean no harm. You say, well, when you get my age, I, I ain't talking about things out there. Sometimes food will get your attention. And if you're not careful, you will uh, overeat. So don't just think. Pastor, can I say this one thing? We 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 we, we so hung up. I, do you realize most people that go to church? I don't know about over here around Mount Olive, but a lot of folks don't know but two little old sins. Been going to church all their life and don't think it's but two sins. If you don't believe it, the first thing they're gonna say, he out that mid dutchy. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Him out there lying on folks. Yeah. Well, let me tell you something. You read your Bible. That ain't the only thing. Anything that's not pleasing God is a sin. Put your eyes where they don't belong. Run in your mouth when you don't know what you're talking about. So David here, let me leave the boy alone. David, he, 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 he thought, and I need a witness here, and everybody here realized that you thought you got away with something. Yes, yes, yes. Uh-huh. But you found out God saw everything you done. We know how David, I don't have to go through the story, you ought to know the story, how he tried to trick you around. But he couldn't even get the man to go home and lay down with his wife. So he had to put him on the front line. And, and, and there are people that if they can't get you one way, they'll get you another way. Help me, Holy Ghost. And, and, and I find that when he done that, that, that he thought, I done got away with it now. But look what God done. Anybody here got a best friend? Do they tell you the truth? Oh, y'all got quiet. If your best friend won't tell you the truth, they ain't your best friend. Because the Lord said, David, good friend, Nathan. Broke it down, told him all about it. We live and all that. David said, a man do that, need to be killed on the land to live. He said, you that man.
nothing he done was going right. It was so bad that he got to the point David couldn't even feel good no more. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So now tonight David get personal. Yes, sir. David did not go down and see the priest. Yes, but David had a little conversation with God. For you see, David said to God, have mercy upon me, O Lord God. And every now and then, did anybody here have to steal away sometime in the midnight hour? And ask God to have a little mercy on me. But not only did he want God to have mercy, he was asking God now, why are you having mercy? Yes, sir. Blood out, in other words, take away yes, my transgressions. All right. Then not only that, but David didn't stop there. He said, Lord, if you don't mind, will you wash me? So that I can be cleansed from my sin. And one thing, if you don't get nothing else in that, verse 3, he admitted. There's a lot of us tonight need to go home and admit to God, I ain't done what I need to do, Lord. Some of us been mad with your neighbor a little too long. Now is your night that you can go and say, God, I know I've been wrong. But one thing David was saying, he said, I know I have sinned against thee. And I know that I have done evil. In thy sight. But he said the only way I can get right and be justified is through by you. Ain't God alright tonight? David was not making an excuse, but some of us knew the field first. And folks say, well, I was born in sin. But I got news for you tonight. We all were born in sin. But just because you were born in sin don't mean you got the wall in sin. Y'all don't hear me. So then uh, what are you saying, preacher? You can take a hog uh, out of a hog pen. Uh, but if you put another mud hole, he'll still get it. Uh, but if you don't want the hog in the mud, uh, you got to put him on a slow pen. Uh, Good God Almighty. So then I find that David wanted truth on the inside. Ain't God all right? And then David said, Pardon me. I'm about ready to go home now. We'll get some. And I shall be clean. Ain't God all right? In other words, he said, Make me the hear joy.
glad that you were able to walk through the door. God is a good God. And he's able. Somebody might want to clean up tonight. This revival. And God is able. I've had some good days. I've had some years to plan. I've had some lonely days. Yeah. Some sleepless nights.
of revival. Open your mouth up and say something. Let somebody know that revival is going on. Amen. We thank you all. We pray and safe travels for you all as you get ready to go back to your destination. I want to tell you this. Amen. This is one of Pastor Crowley's members. This is my friend right here. And don't nobody bother him. Y'all treat him right because he bring me brim. So I got to keep him in my corner. I got to, I got to stay friends with him. Amen. Amen. We love you all. You all have a wonderful night. Be safe and be safe.